I ended up at the Dole Institute on Aging at the University of Kansas in a classroom and really it was quite by accident I wasn't in the right place but there was a presentation going on and I kind of started listening to it and it was a young Chinese woman who was giving a dissertation I was kind of sitting in the back and now I'm kind of trying to hide because I don't know that I'm supposed to be in there but anyway it was quite fascinating and her uh, doctoral thesis was based on different kinds of advertising in China and in the United States as pertained to seniors. So I did get fascinated. I wanted to know what she was going to talk about. And she was comparing over 5,000 pieces of advertisement, both print and media, uh, and she was judging them on 10 virtues. She listed the virtues, and they were ones that I knew, like health and energy. But number 10 was this word, this virtue, as she described it, that I'd never heard of, and it was filial piety. Well, I didn't know what that was, and I assume probably the rest of the people in the room did, so I kept my mouth shut, but pretty soon one of the professors said, excuse me, what's filial piety? She described and explained that filial piety is a, a peculiar virtue of her uh, culture, uh, which uh, describes the admiration and honoring of elders. The Chinese symbol for it is beautiful. She showed the symbol. It is a, uh, a symbol for an adult and a cradle. And then right below that is a symbol for a child. And what it depicts is a child supporting the elder. And I thought, what a beautiful thing. I don't think they're having over the hill parties there where they have black roses and black balloons and everyone's miserable because they're getting old at 40. No, I think they're having just getting there parties when the older you get, the more admired you are. When you live in a culture where elders are admired and respected, then wouldn't you be a little bit more excited about getting old? Filial piety is something that our country needs. Our culture needs to admire and respect elders, and it's high time.